Right behind me is Battle Creek. Now the Shoshone camped between here and those hills to the west 161 years ago. They did it every year to invite the warmth of spring. Yo. Yo, hey, hey, oh. January 29th, 1863. It was far colder back then than this sunny Monday in 2024. For the Shoshone, they were gathered in hope. The spring was coming and you're, you're hoping for a good year. Patty Timbimbu Madsen helps the tribe remember their history. Do you trace your family back yes. to uh, the people who were here? Yes. Mm -hmm. How so? Um, well, if I went back, you would see uh, myself. My father was Frank Timbimbu. My mother was Ellen of Aji. Uh, both Northwestern Shoshone. She went on to name several generations back to an ancestor who was wounded here. You know, the ones that died right here on these grounds, those are the ones that you can count. The first one would be Ano Dizdobi. They read the names they know, just a few of the 493 that they know were directly killed on this field. More died in flight or in despair just kind of along here. Um, over in this area uh, is where Chief Segwich, my great, great, great grandfather's teepee stood. Mm -hmm. We have a photo of his son who was in the teepee uh, and survived. This is that picture, a man who was a boy when he watched his tribe decimated. You look back and you think, well, those were olden times, not to us, you know, our time is, our people are still buried here. But... This big crowd is only about half the number killed 161 years ago. Maybe 600 Shoshone were camped here. About 100 were men of fighting age. They knew the soldiers were coming. At dawn, they saw steam rising from the cavalry horse's breath on the high ridge to the east. A lot of in the soldiers' diaries that they wrote were, it was so cold our whiskey was freezing in our canteens. The Shoshone thought they would negotiate. The chiefs just said, no, no, they'll negotiate. We don't want to give, we don't want to have to lose life if we can help it. But Colonel Connor was clear before the attack. What he said to the Marshal Isaac Gibbs was, I'm not going to deprive my men from a little Indian killing. Fun. For years, history parroted the army story, troops defeating Shoshones who had been raiding the white settlers. But enough Shoshone survived to tell their story, backed up by local Latter-day Saints who had befriended them. The soldiers attacked a peaceful gathering and killed everyone they could. I think one of the things is a lot of the people here, and especially the army afterwards, buried it because of the killing of, of the brutal killing of the women and the children. Brad Perry is working to restore this land to its native vegetation and Battle Creek to its historic path. The restoration like a new invitation to the warmth of spring. When they restore this land, the Northwestern Band of Shoshone won't just be honoring their ancestors. They'll also be putting a lot of water in the Great Salt Lake. 13,000 acre feet that would have been slurped up by invasive species will go to the lake via the Bear River. In Franklin County, Idaho, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah.